So Ali here has taken fuzz guitar to a whole new level. <laughs> you. Nah, you really know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what do you what do you got here? This is a fuzzy guitar. It is. It's fully velvet. This is actually a Taylor GS Mini like you've never seen. Yeah. This is the red velvet zebra edition of this. Okay, you went with zebra? I was aiming for tiger, but that's fine. I think <laughs> <laughs> it could be either. Is it well, you know, I think it's the the red and the white. I don't know. It could yeah. be a tiger thing. Yeah. So this is Allie. She's Hi. by far the most high effort YouTuber I've ever met in my entire life. What he's saying is I'm a tryhard. Her videos are insane. Thanks. They're actually insane. Hmm. Like this, where she took a Taylor GS Mini and she just covered it in fuzzy velvet, which we're gonna hear how it affects the tone in just a second. This is one of the lower effort videos that an she's easy done. One, and it, it was at least a week. All right. So what? How did you, how did you do this? Okay, it is a technique called flocking, where you paint a colored adhesive and then spray the fibers at it, and it sticks to the adhesive and makes this fuzzy texture. Can we give them a close-up? Sure, yeah, close. Get there up in go. there. Wow. Oh, yeah. Is it, is it focusing? I have no idea. Yeah, and then you I'm use this device to I'm kind already of lost. poof I'm the already... <laughs> fibers. So you poof the fibers. Onto the paint. Okay. And it sticks and dries. Okay, so you painted it to look like a tiger yes. first. Well, I did the white stripes. Sure. And then I poofed the white, you let that dry, and then I did the red, and then you flip it over and do the same thing, and then I did the black. So that's why it was a series of days where you have to deal with it drying and not mixing the colors and getting even the little fret dots. Even the fret dots and like the fret board is actually yeah. insane. Like, it so that was a dumb final choice, but I thought I thought I was ruining a ruining a guitar. Yeah. Oh, we're gonna find out if I ruined no, it. No, no, you did. I mean, can, can I? May Let's I? Let's find may out. I play this. <laughs> Look at this is insane. It works. It sounds like a Taylor GS Mini. Yeah. It's barely on your tiger. It sounds better when you do it. Like, I would think that something like this would kill the sustain of what it's like a peppermint, peppermint tiger. Yeah. Is that it? Is, do you have a nickname for this? Uh, that's good. Let's go with that. The peppermint tiger. tiger. Yeah. I mean, I feel I'm just gonna nickname your guitar. That's so it is kind of Christmasy. Yeah. yeah. Like this sounds better than my Taylor GS Mini. So you're saying I could do something like this? Yes, absolutely. How how long did this take you? I mean, if we're talking prep work. And, if you just went for, I think, maybe four days, you could do it. Four days? Well, and it would look as good as this? Yeah. Here's the thing. So I chalk painted a guitar once. Ooh. And my mom was like, she chalk paints furniture and stuff. Cool. I feel like you probably chalk painted. You're such a A-list artist. I, I'm, I'm kind of guessing at what chalk paint is. Okay. Right. Is it just All a right. type of paint? It's like, it is, but it makes it look like it has like a chalk type finish. Okay. Like a wash, like a whitewash type look. My mom's like, oh, you could do it, it's so simple. And then I tried it and it was like a disaster. It was an abject disaster. So every time people encourage me to do art projects, I fail at them so poorly, <laughs> so badly. The weird thing is, is like, I, I was assuming that the fret, like messing with the frets like this would destroy the guitar. Right, but I had to do it. I had everything else done. I was like, no, that's not outrageous enough. Not enough effort was put into it. Yeah. So then I had to do all the frets. And of course make the, sure the design wrapped around correctly. That, there's, there's no way I can make it look this good. Like I pro, I promise you it would not look this good. You do a solid color maybe. What, all right, what about material supply? Like how much does it cost? How much do you think you're all in on this? Not, not including your time. Yeah. To get a peppermint velvet tiger. It's honestly not that bad. You gotta wear the flock and the adhesive in two different colors, three different colors, because I also did the pick guard. I don't know, a couple hundred bucks. But yeah. then obviously art is priceless, so after I created it, it's worth millions. That's for, for sure. Yes. Yeah, exactly. Now I'm trying to play tiger themed songs. Yeah, I have the tiger. All right. <laughs> It's coming. I love that. I don't know what's it. Rising up. The and then all the intro is so much better than when you get back to that part. And it's da, da, like, da, 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 da. All right. So you said not that expensive. So the flocking. Yeah. Look at, look at, look at that. <laughs> you should sell these. Oh, I'm glad you like it. Oh, I did the knobs too in black. Do you see? So. I yeah. So that's the other thing. It's like so we got those. We got the pick guard. 
This is the pick art is also it's not the original pick art, it's also velvety. Yeah. And it's cool because where the white touches the red, it's raised up a little bit. You can especially tell on the oh, back. Oh yeah. So it's, okay. You can feel the tiger texture. It's got some texture. It's got that yeah. tiger texture. Yeah. Yeah. I love it. Thanks. This is this is insane. This is like the coolest guitar I've ever I've ever seen. Can I can I borrow this to like nonchalantly make a guitar lesson and not address yeah, just that, never it's say. Just a, <laughs> that it's a velvet cover. all the comments are like what pepper? bro it's like huh <laughs> like it'll be so, it'll be like something like super like boring like modal interchange <laughs> in modern jazz or something like that and i'll be like well here we are in the dorian mode and fix this so i mean yeah so you think you're going to do another guitar art project? What would you do next? Well, this was just my starter project to then do an entire upright piano. Oh. Yeah. Really? It's in my yard right now. That's, in the, yeah, that's the one that's covered with some, uh, is that a tarp? Is yeah, there's that? a tarp on it to try and keep it alive. But yeah, I did a whole upright piano too and the keys. So that one feels really weird, but it still plays. Have you gotten, has that gotten wet? Yeah. The, you remember sure. the hurricane that came yeah, through? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. It got waterlogged. I had a tarp oh. on it, but it it's all still, the keys like yeah, stuck, yeah. so it was just mm. one big key. Oof. Yeah, but what then the sun fixed it. The sun? Ah, the healing power of the sun. I know. Amazing. Oh, Lord. So how was the velvet? How did the velvet? It wasn't so the piano was kind of busted, but like the velvet, like. Yeah. It felt awesome. It's it was good? a super weird experience. Yeah, the velvet was fine. This stuff is actually made for things like uh, fishermen's handles, so it's supposed to be waterproof. It gets wet a lot. So I was fishermen's like, handles. Yeah, like fishing pole handle. Like you would they make have a, a flocked velvety a flocked. handle. Yeah. So it's waterproof ish. I actually, velvet velvet's waterproof or flocked this velvet. This flock is this type of flock is. Waterproof. What's the difference between flocked velvet and velvet? I think velvet like is a type of velvet. material, and this okay. isn't technically velvet, but it works better in a title. That's why you're ah, see, title. that's why, that's what, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, all right. So it's not velvet. <laughs> no, not, if I the roots have been a ruse. Everyone would just think I had a typo. I flocked and it was a guitar. Yeah, exactly. yeah, we flocked a guitar, guys. Yeah, that's yeah, that's right. Yeah. Mm. No, it's about it's velvet to the touch. Yeah, it feels velvety to me. Right. You like to say even the bridge. Mm-hmm. I was fully prepared to ruin this guitar. I don't know why. I, I, the, the inlays are what's doing it for me. Oh, thanks. I don't know. Anyways, you guys have to go follow her on hey, all the social media. Because, like, it's insane. It's actually insane. What Seeing when your videos come out makes me so tired. Because <laughs> I'm like, oh, my gosh, what has she done? What has she done now? My brand is exhausting. I was <laughs> Your brand exhausts yourself and others. <laughs> and I was trying to get her to do more low effort stuff. So what yeah. does she do? She does a recap of, like, hundreds of videos was, like, her next thing. We still, I, I'm still open to brainstorming doing low effort. Let us know in the comments what low effort videos I can help. We're just starting a new channel where I'll do something extremely high effort no, and then you come no, comment on no, it. This worked no, really well for your, me. No, your main channel, <laughs> but super low effort, like is my style. Mm -hmm. People are going to have a hard time believing me. Guess what? This was one take. What? This video was one take. You're not going to even cut out the part when I say butts? No, oh, no not going to do that. You know, I'm going to keep it in. I'm going to let it fly. I'm going to add some B-roll of close-ups of the guitar, <laughs> that, which is a lot for me. That's like, whoa, oh, easy. I, fancy. Maybe it's I should just, flock the inside, then it would sound bad. different, right? I mean, I, I would think. That sounds like a lot of effort. You know, you're not going to be able to flock the inside of this year. Oh, really? I wonder if electronics like still work. Could, <laughs> yes, is, is, is that how it works for you? You just, someone says something yeah. offhand and you take it as a personal challenge oh, and you man. can't sleep until you make it, oh, uh, make it work. No, no more flocking for you. No more flocking. I you're, do want to do my car though. You're three, you're, so your car has been through enough. Your poor car. The first time I, she came over, she came over, what, like two, three weeks ago or whatever. Mm -hmm. And uh, she covered her car in pop sockets. Right? It's these things that are on your we'll put a, We'll put a picture of it out. And she's like, oh, I just got into a car accident on the way over. And I'm like, what? So I go outside and she drives the pop socket car up. And I guess like somebody hit you. And took off nine pop sockets. Yeah, and that's when she goes, yeah, this guy took hit me and took off nine pop sockets. He didn't think it was funny at all. How could you not think that's funny? I don't know. Like, I, yeah, you know. I thought it was hilarious. He just wanted my insurance info. It was definitely his fault. And... 
my pop sockets are missing now. I heard that's how insurers actually evaluate the cost mm -hmm. of damage on a car. It's There's a number The missing. pop socket index is what it's called. <laughs> PSI. It's a, yeah, it's a PSI, but ooh, this is a, this is a 12 <laughs> PSI. PSI. <laughs> that one, that one's, that's tough. Uh, uh, not paying this out, that's for sure. I'm shocked by how good this sounds. Yeah, I mean, you make it sound great. No, nah, the only thing that would be better is if it were a Martin. Yeah, you know, in fact, it probably made the Taylor sound better because it's probably too bright and the velvet kind of dampens it a little bit. You don't like the brightness of a Taylor? Don't get me started. See, I did a Taylor because they're smaller, you know, that, that, that huge fretboard would have been so much to flock. Oh, it, yeah, too much flocking. Too much. <laughs> <laughs> no more flocking for you. You flocked your last flock. Yeah, I'm done. You should go sit on my toilet, too. Oh, yeah, you, did, you, you flocked your toilet as well? Mm-hmm. Didn't she like make your toilet like a chia toilet or something? Yes. Yeah? Like she, that's different than flocking. That's, yes. That's totally different. Well, one's alive. Anyways, we're not gonna get into this. You're gonna have to watch her channel to check that out. Great because idea. It's insane. Thanks for <laughs> thanks for having me over and showing me the the fruits of your flocking. Of course. Thank you for appreciating it. Usually, it's just me alone being like, "Wow, this is cool." I think, but you this validating that, me. That's kind of <laughs> isn't that like that's like so sad. She like makes these incredible like these videos are like insane, so insanely good. And like, yeah, I get it. Like, I'm a YouTuber. It's like you know, you make something, you put it up, and like, yeah, there's comments and stuff, but like. Nobody in real life appreciates you. <laughs> you I don't know? have that now. That's but why not, we're not... starting the series where I just show you things I made. <laughs> That's it. That's the whole channel. Yeah. That channel becomes more popular than like either of our actual channels. <laughs> That's great. All right, cool. Well, until the next time.